Hi, welcome back to my channel and we're going through this problem here today. So that's working out the blue area uh, of the triangle, okay? This triangle inside a square that is six by six. Now, one of the corners of this triangle, as you can see, meets the bottom of the square right in the middle, at the midpoint, okay? So we've got to use that information as well as uh, the other corner of this triangle, one of the other corners, um, touching the diagonal of the square. Okay, and then the one of the, the sides of the triangle uh, here joining or being one of the sides that goes from the midpoint of the side of the square to the top right hand corner of the square. Now, my method for attempting this problem is to, to basically put this onto a axis because I know that once I've got that, I can start putting some points on. So I know that this point here, the midpoint, the, the full width of the square is 6, so uh, that has got to be 3. Now I know that this point up here, because the square uh, is 6, uh, this must be 6, 6. Okay, now I've then got a straight line, uh, this straight line here that goes through at 3, 0. So we've got 3, 0 and 6, 6. Okay, now I can then use that to work out the length of, well, not, not the length of the line, the gradient of the line, the equation of that line, which will be useful later. So, the gradient of that line, change in y over change in x. So I'm going to do 6, take away 0, over 6, take away 3. That's going to give me 6 over 3, which gives me a gradient of 2, which you might have been able to work out from the diagram anyway. Now... Using that information, I've got y is equal to 2x plus c. Plug in my 6, 6. So 6 is equal to 2, lots of 6, plus c. That gives me that 6 is equal to 12 plus something. So c must be equal to minus 6. And then I've got the equation of this line here is y is equal to 2x minus 6. Okay. Now, if I can then work out uh, two points actually. I need to work out this point and that's where uh, that line is going to intersect with this line here. Now that line goes from 6, 0 to 0, 6 and so the equation of that line must be x plus y is equal to 6. Uh, you can figure that out by using a method called the cover-up method. So essentially, if you cover up x, y is 6. So if x is 0, y is 6. If you cover up y, y is 0, x is 6. And if we solve those equations simultaneously, we'll be able to work out this point, which we'll do in a second. And what I also need to work out, we've got this right angle here, and that means that this line, uh, or this base of our triangle, must be perpendicular to y equals 2x minus 6. Now, if it's perpendicular, that means the gradients multiplied to give negative 1. So the gradient of this line must be y is equal to minus a half x plus some constant. Okay, I'm going to call that, let's call it k, because obviously it's not the same as this value up here. Uh, so that is going to intersect at some point over here. Now we know it goes through the point 3, 0, so we can substitute that in 3, 0. So y is 0 minus a half of 3 plus some number. So we get 0 is equal to minus 3 over 2 plus k. Add the 3 over 2 to both sides, we get 3 over 2 is equal to k. So that gives us the equation of this line, which is y is minus a half x plus 3 over 2, or 1.5. Now, this plus 3 over 2 is the y-intercept, so that tells us that this is 3 over 2, or 1.5. Okay? We can then, in a second, use that to work out our base, and once we've got this point, by solving these two equations simultaneously, we will then have um, the height uh, of that triangle, okay? So, what we are going to do is find the coordinates of this point. So, scroll down slightly, I've got y is 2x minus 6 and x plus y. So y is 2x minus 6 and x plus y is equal to 6. I'm going to substitute 
uh, the y in the second equation for 2x minus 6. So I get x plus 2x minus 6 is equal to 6. That gives 3x minus 6 is equal to 6. 3x is equal to 12, so x is equal to 4. Now, if I then substitute that back into either of these equations, let's go with the second one because it's easier. 4 add something is 6. Y must be equal to 2. Now, I know there are maybe easier ways of doing this, but I want to show you this method because it uses many different um, strategies or uh, many different, um, not tactics, but different ways of working things out, different skills. So this point here we've said is 4, 2. So that's 4, 2. Now, what I'm going to use now, which we don't really have to do, we could do this another way, but I'm going to use Pythagoras to work out the base of that triangle and this length here, the perpendicular height. So, what I'm going to do is, well, that's gone from 3 to 4. So that's a difference of 1, and it's gone from 0 up to a height of 2. So I'm going to do 1 squared, add 2 squared, and square root it. 1 squared is 1, add 2 squared is 4, so that's got a, square, uh, a height of square root 5. Now I'm going to do the same to work out the base, or this base, uh, that I'm going to use for my triangle. So that is uh, 3 over 2, the height there, squared plus 3 squared, and then square root it. Now that will give me 9, add 9 over 4. Um, I'm going to use my calculator for this bit, make it a little bit easier. So... We've got 3 over 2 squared plus 3 squared. Square root is 3 root 5 over 2. So that's this side of the triangle. And then to work out the area, we do a half times by 3 root 5 over 2 times by root 5. Now that should give us an answer of... 15 over 4 or 3.75 units there should be centimetres squared. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that problem and if you attempted it yourself, I hope that you were able to get the same answer as me. If you uh, worked out any easier ways to do that, please share those in the comments because I'm always interested to see the different ways that people have managed to do these problems. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I really appreciate it and I really appreciate all the likes and everybody that subscribes to the channel. If you like this video, then there should be plenty more videos just up here. Uh, hopefully it's, it's here. That's where it should be, the one that you want to watch next. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.